Hey everyone, Becca here with another Zoom Notes tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to walk through how I created this index page for my 2019 planner. Uh, I repurposed my second tab in this Boho Berry planner to be a goal setting section. If you see here in my test planner, um, if you hit that second tab, this is how the planner, well, let me zoom back out on this a bit. This is how the planner comes in naturally. Uh, it's a 2019 button that takes you to this overview page which on mine, I moved to my first tab here and I repurposed this middle one to be a goal setting planner and I added this little uh, kind of pop out tab with, the, with an index on it. So I'm gonna walk through how I set this up. It combines a, a good number of features in Zoom Notes and Procreate, so I thought it'd be a good one to kind of walk through putting all those features together to set up a page layout. So let me close my 2019 planner, work in my test planner here. So this is a page that I want to redo. Uh, so there's a couple of different things that I do in order to do this. Um, if you open up your page bar and go into your, um, oops, I hit the wrong one, the page settings, the one with the little cogwheel, um, I have this surrounds color and I, it, it's the, the background behind your actual planner page and I changed mine to match the background of the boho berry planner so there's no no break in the screen um i think by default it's um sort of a i forget actually some kind of a lighter gray color i don't remember um so anyway if you have if you don't have that change you'll see your kind of planner looks like this this little kind of box on top of it so i changed my surround color to match so it looks a little more seamless uh but for the purposes of this it's easier if i have um uh, separate colors right now and i'll show you why in a minute uh, so I would go ahead and change the surround color on this one. And then I'm also going to be using this page. So I will change the surrounds color on this one. And it doesn't matter what color, just so that you can tell uh, where the actual planner page is. So we'll go back here. Um, another thing that I've already done, um, I have all of my tab labels on this master layer, which I will go over in a separate video. Um, because this tabs layer will be on top of everything else, I don't need my tabs when I export this page out. So I go ahead and turn that view off as well. Um, and this is a test planner, so I don't have it fully set up. Uh, on my 2019 planner, I have those three three tabs on the upper left covered and relabeled, which I didn't do in this one, but that's okay. So I'll turn off the tabs so you can't see it. Uh, so the reason why I set all of this up, um, in the top right-hand corner, the little box with the arrow is your share button. And I do mine to iCloud, I set it to image, uh, you can give it a file name if you need to, high resolution, PNG. So what I would like to do is be able to export just this page. And if I go to page and I say current, or if I go to selected and I pick the page that I want, whenever I hit the share button, mine just flashes and nothing happens. So I don't know if it doesn't like iCloud or if that's a bug in the software, I'm not sure, but I have not been able to get uh, export current page to work. So what I have to do is go to current view and hit share. And that'll take me into my iCloud drive. Let's put it here in the top and I'll say add. And then I'm going to tap over on my blue tab here. And I'm going to export it as well. Let's say keep both. So I did not give them unique names. Okay, so now I have those two pages. And from here, I'm gonna go into Procreate. And I'm gonna to go to Import. I'm gonna grab my first one. This is the page that I want to actually replace. And so you'll see when you do the current view, it brings in everything. So instead of getting just the page, you're getting that background as well. Um, so that's why I changed the color so I can see where it is. Um, and then you can go up to your um, wrench up here and uh, go to crop and resize. And then I just shrink my canvas down to be the size of this page. Okay, so that cuts off all of the extra gray, and from here I hit done. Okay, so now we have roughly what it should have been if I was able to export just that page. 
So this is the size of the rest of my planner. This is what I'm going to work with. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the wrench and uh, change it to add. And then I'm going to say insert a file. I'm going to find the second one here. And now this one is obviously going to be uh, too small, but that's okay. Um, just kind of size it. Doesn't have to be exact. And I don't have magnetics turned on. There we go. So let's kind of bring it out like that. So it's uh, close to the same size. Not a big deal. Okay. Um, so we'll turn that off for now. And then the third thing that I bring in, go back to uh, insert a file. And I have um, the planner masks that were shared from the Boho Berry freebie section. Um, where did I put my masks? There we go. And then I have a landscape page mask that she shared. So I will bring that one in as well. And so the first thing I'm going to do is size this to be the correct size. Turn off magnetic here. Get it lined up. Back into this corner. Turn magnetics back on. Drag this out. And... Then readjust. Okay, so now I have that page curved. Um, and there are other ways in Procreate that you can manipulate things. If I take this off, um, you can go through here and uh, I could erase some of the stuff. I could cover it with white, it would really kind of probably be the easiest thing to do. Um, if I wanted to just go through, oop, didn't change layers. If I wanted to go through here with a large pen and I wanted to highlight all this, um, you could cover this up and then you can use, um, some of the tools in Procreate to do like an auto selection and it will, uh, pick up all of the white space. And if you don't have a planner mask, that will work. And I might go over that in a different video if people need to see that. Um, but I don't think it gives you as clear and crisp of a line as the actual planner mask. So if you don't have a page mask, um, there are ways in Procreate to do it. I just don't think it looks as good as the one that she actually provided. This one doesn't have any weird jagged pixelated edges or anything. So that's why I use this mask. Um, okay. So now I want to go back to my mask and I want to make it, uh, the color of my tab. So over here on the left, uh, the little square here in between your two bars will give you the, uh, color picker tool and I would go over here and tap on my blue color and then from the top right I can pull that circle down here Oops, dropping my iPad here pull the circle down here and drop it and it'll fill in this page so now I have the uh, the blue color to make it look like a page a tab page uh, so the next thing I want to do is make the little tab pop out and that is why I brought in the other page because if you don't have any artistic talent whatsoever <laughs> trying to um, color that in and get the shading and the shadow and everything um, is more than <laughs> I want to do. So I uh, bring this one in. Let me see. Make sure I go to my page here. Uh, the little S shape in the top left is your um, selection tool. And then I just pick up this tab. And then you can swipe down with three fingers and hit copy and paste. So now it's on its own layer. Now I don't need um, this layer anymore. Let me turn on my blue page again. Okay. And let's bring it over here. And then just line it up, take off magnetic so it doesn't do that.
And there you go. So now it looks like uh, the little tab has popped out. And then that's all I need for this. Make sure all the layers you need are on. You can turn off the background, although I don't think it's showing. Uh, and then go up to my little wrench and hit Copy Canvas. Now I'll go back into Zoom Notes and go to my page here. And then this is why I also have the gray set up. So now I can paste it in and I can easily see where it needs to be lined up on the page. Tap off. And now I've got it covering my page. And if I go back into my tabs here and turn them back on, you'll see they'll be in the right place. Um, if I had finished doing my first three tabs, my goals tab would show up there, but I never did label those. Um, so now I have that back and then I can go back into my uh, page settings over here on the right, go to my surround color, choose the one that matches, get done, go back to my other tab, page setting, surrounds color, and now those are back to matching. Now I have this new tab here. So now I have a blank uh, page that I can work with. So the next thing I did is create my index, uh, which I did just using the uh, basic shape tool. Uh, so you wanna go into your shape. And I did mine uh, border and fill, and I did a square rectangle um, with some rounded corners. I don't remember exactly what I chose, but you know, however you like it. Uh, my, my border, Oh, and then I did a draw shadow. So you just click on the uh, draw shadow there and that's pretty much it. And then click up here on border and pick a color, click on the fill. I did mine in white. And then you can draw out your rectangle. I don't really remember how much room I gave myself, but whatever you, whatever size font you want to use. Uh, so once you have it the way you like it, uh, then I just press and hold with my finger and I hit the copy button and um, paste however many you need. So you can um, tap and hold on these red rectangles and drag it over here and drop it, which I like if I'm doing um, a quick copy of something. But if I'm copying and pasting a bunch of things, I find I just like to kind of tap and hold. So however many you need. Um, the next thing I like to do is I like to line up my, oops, had that one selected still, line up my top one with where I think I would want it. And then I would line up, I line up my bottom one as far down as I want it to go, but slightly to the right. So I want to make sure everything is further right than my, um, first one. And then I pick them all up. Oop, nope, I'm still on my shape tool. <laughs> Go back to the selection tool. Um, pick them all up. Tap on your selection tool. Scroll down here to the bottom. I click space evenly and toggle that on. And then I want to align everything to the left. So I will tap the little um, left button here if I can. Nope, it, I accidentally unselected messed up. Let me try that again. Keep it selected. Selection. I must have accidentally tapped off of it. Turn on space evenly. Hit left. Oh, see? Uh, I forgot my most important rule. My page layout was supposed to go on the bottom layer. So I was not paying attention to my layers for this video. Let me go down to my layout. Turn that unlocked. Take it to my current layer. So if you're used to using good notes, you're very used to uh, everything on your page moving when you use your selection tool. So select my background here, tap and hold, hit other, hit move to current layer, tap off of it, go up to my layers, go back. I put everything on writing for my index um, and lock it. There we go. So now if I do this, I cannot move my background anymore. Very important. Okay, let's try this again. Pick them all up. 
go down here, space evenly is on, hit left, and then they all line up and are evenly spaced. Um, if you wanted to do another row, um, I generally do the same kind of thing. I'd pick these all up and um, copy them and paste them. And you could try to line them up if you want to um, and be done. If you really want it to uh, be perfect again, I would select these two, go down here, uh, turn off space evenly and do a line top. And then I would move this one kind of over here and I would select these two. I would say align top and then I like to make sure they're all just a little bit over so I know the one I'm aligning it with is the correct one. So I pick them all up, turn on space evenly and do align left. So that way you know they're all perfect. Um, so that's how I would do that. And then the next thing would be to add my label, which I would go into my text tool. And I have my little setting here that I like to use. Tap down here, add a label. I like to do it in caps, actually. Resize my text box. And then you drop it on there like that. And then you can go into your shape tool again, tap on your shape, open the shape tool, hit link, page, direct, pinch your little arrow, and um, you can just pick a page. So now if I tap on this, it'll take me to that page. So that's how I create my index. Um, after that, I just added some of my um, headers across the top. I used the uh, Boho Berry double line font. Now we'll just start with that side, let's see. And do tap and hold, select all, bring it up really big. And then from here, you can use the fill tool. It works pretty decently. Um, if you go in and pick a color, um, it works pretty good. Uh, I also like to go to the coloring layer I have below. I'll lock this one temporarily. Um, and I like to color mine in. It's just kind of a personal preference, I guess. You can go in there and you can color. And then it'll go behind your text. Um, so if, you're, if you want to do something really quick, the fill tool will definitely work. Um, I kind of personally just like filling these in. Uh, either way, I do both depending on how much time I feel like spending. But I think the uh, the coloring on the below layer will definitely give you a cleaner look than the fill tool. But it definitely takes a lot more time. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can tap back on your crosshairs, double tap, send your page back up. And that's pretty much it for how I've been creating my index page. Thank you so much for watching.